ready for some grilled salmon? Now, I'm stuffing today, y'all, so bear with me. Now, let me show you how I do it. I have some beautiful salmon right here. They already cleaned up and ready to go, so I'm just going to drizzle them with some avocado oil. Next, I'm going to grab a bowl and add my seasoning. I have some Creole seafood seasoning here. I'm also adding in some Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse, some onion powder, some roasted garlic powder, some paprika. I'm also going in with some oregano, some thyme, and some rosemary. I'm going to give that a quick mix and then I'm going to start seasoning my salmon. I'm going to season both sides of my salmon, the front side and the back side. Now that I got my seasoning on, we're just going to set it aside until my pan get ready. We're using Bernadette today, y'all. We're just going to go ahead and oil her up with some great sea oil and give her a rub now to make sure she don't stick. We're going to get her all hot, bothered, and smoky and then we're going to throw that salmon right on. Now we want that smoke in between those salmon, so we're going to spread them out just a little bit. In about two minutes cooking time we're going to pick those salmon up and we're going to turn them to the side so we can get us some good grill marks just turn them just a little bit after about four to five minutes cooking time we're going to go ahead and flip them over y'all i'm using one hand so when i did my flip i broke my salmon a little bit but it's gonna be okay we're gonna be all right we're gonna get through it my ocd did kick in just a little bit but we're gonna woosah it's going to be okay, Kels. It's going to be okay. After we get that salmon flipped, we're going to go ahead and put a lid on because we want to lock in some of that smoke. We want the salmon to be good and smoky. While that's smoking, let's work on this garlic butter. I got some real butter right here, y'all. I'm going to melt it down. I'm going to add in my garlic. I'm going to cook that garlic until it's fragrant about one minute. Not burn, just until it's fragrant. Y'all smell it? It's ready. Now, after about another four to five minutes, my salmon are done and they are looking beautiful. But y'all know I got to add some parsley because parsley makes it pretty. After that, I'm going to add on some of that garlic butter because butter makes it better. And we're all done, y'all. Look at this masterpiece right here. I'm going to go ahead on and add me some lemon. You can't have salmon without lemon. And look at the inside, y'all. It's perfect. Y'all already know what's next. I got to give it a taste. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's good right there.